go y'all we are out here today i got something can't quite tell what it is it most likely might be a smaller catfish oh now he's putting on that fight it's definitely a catfish so i got three rods out here and that's only because i'm out here fishing near lake erie because if i was fishing the mommy river oh what is that that is a freshwater drum oh he couldn't look at that he couldn't stay away but thank god he did not swallow my hook got to be careful with them too because they're a little bit more feisty than a lot of fish they real feisty no seriously freshwater drum are extremely feisty it's a nice long one too and then we have us a freshwater drum look at that boy these things these fish are something else boy just the way they designed and built is extreme to me it's really 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 crazy you can see that long look like he's a little bit on the hungry side but he's definitely long for it for the way he is there you go let's put him back in the water all right y'all let's see what else we can get i got like i said i'm out here fishing with three rods um there's no telling what can go down you know all right i think we had a fish on oh i think he got off the hook we had a fish on bite there we go i think he's still there yeah got, got him off the shad there we go it seemed like he's swimming right towards me there we go Oh, he got off the hook. I <laughs> know. Thank you. He got off the hook. Let's see what happened. It had to be a foul hook on his bait. Or maybe he just got off. Oh, he just he just got off. That's just unfortunate. All right, got a fish on. Let's see what it is. It is another freshwater drum. Dude, these freshwater drum is absolutely taking over. It ain't swallowing my hook like crazy. But I can't say that I'm getting more bites on night crawlers than I am anything else as of right now. We gotta figure out why the heck freshwater drum is biting me more than I would anticipate. Let's see, how far did he swallow that hook? Yeah, he got it all the way back there. So with that being said, gonna most likely have to cut this cut this line there you go but this rod right here I'm just gonna have to be all the way 100 with you I will no longer be using it nope because once I usually how I am about tackle man once it breaks I'm cool man I just don't got the patience and plus and plus I know that the fish aren't as active anyway so there's no need to there's no need to keep on entertaining three rods i know what they're biting off of they're biting off night crawlers but i'm getting mostly you know freshwater drum bites which i'm not really in the mood for freshwater drum as of this moment but i do have shad out there and i'm just waiting to see how that's going to pan out with the shad right now it's not looking so great are we getting a bite on this left rod off shad I, I decided to switch it up a little bit i got um night crawlers on this rod right here in front of me and then to the left i have shad on that i figured that the night crawlers was getting a bite but i got two different types of hooks so the hook that i got the night crawler on is the aberdeen hook which makes more sense and the hook i have the shad on is a small circle hook so i'm i kept getting bites over here to the left so i'm starting to think that there might be channel cats holding up over here around this uh, around these beams or whatever and or maybe just around this area in um, general so I'm just gonna sit here and check that out see what happens um like I said I was just getting a bite kind of got off on me and we're gonna just see what happens y'all stay tuned all right I think we got a fish on got him got him there we go off a of cut shad. Oh, this could be a freshwater drum. We got to find out though. Oh, this is definitely a channel cat. Let's see. Water going crazy out here, so I might get some water on my shoe. I'm gonna try to see if we can lift him up. Yep, we can lift him up. There we go, right there at the corner of the mouth. He was trying to get that bait off. It's a good channel cat actually a decent keeper i might keep this one yep got it right out the corner of his mouth look at that 
he was hitting for that shad. So, okay, so look, this is what's been going on. I've been casting pretty much straight out. I mean, literally, as soon as I cast it over here in this area, that's when I actually caught the channel cat. And I like his lean body, so I'm just going to hit him take him so about two or three more of them uh oh uh oh sh uh oh <laughs> about two more of them then i'll be fine if i decide to take more fish um but yeah i think what's about to happen is i'm going to end up having to adjust what i've been doing all along just in general um this bait still some good but it's best to just go ahead and put some fresh one out there so i'm gonna just even with that night crawler bin on there i'm still gonna cast it off to the left so I mean, if that's where my action's coming from, I need to, you know, stick it to it, you know what I mean? That way I'm not, you know, out here just sitting here uh, when I can, you know, actually be effective. So that's how I'm hooking the uh, heads on right here, just like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get a nice little cast out here. I'm gonna throw it right there in that corner, basically. Yep, right there. That's exactly where I would like it throw this night crawl over there too i know they i know there'll be fish over there biting on that night crawler because usually wherever you can find one fish man there be sometimes there just be many more different type of species over there you know because they could be trying to get out the same situation or just be in the same situation as other fish you know so, so let's get this out here nice cast pretty much almost at the end basically like literally almost at the end literally that's crazy almost cast over there to the on the whole other side so y'all stay tuned all right here we go got them got them yep they stuck off in that corner ain't that crazy i was out here for about two hours and barely catching a single fish yo it's and soon as i cast that rod over there in that corner and closer to the other side of this creek or stream i got another fish on that other rod off the night crawler look at that oh oh yes what is this whoa this is a gigantic freshwater drum my god yo son jesus now now look <laughs> i'm all in for the channel catfish but when you get a freshwater drum this big you cannot turn this down hands down whoa jesus <laughs> Yo, son, large freshwater drum. I, oh, look at that. He didn't swallow the hook. See, that's why I like using circle hooks when dealing with freshwater drum. I got it out of his mouth. Easy. Let's reel this in so we ain't dealing with no tangles. All right. Dude, look at this freshwater drum. My God. Man, this dude, this thing is a hefty something. All right, let's get away on this. We got it at set. Zero, zero, let's get this thing on here. All right. This fish weighs. Oh, this fish weighs eight pounds, man. That says 9.4, this fish weighs eight pounds. Cause we gotta eliminate the uh, pound off this, uh, what's the name? So yes, this is, I thought it was gonna be my personal best, but it's just so dark and huge and it just looks big it looks really good this fish is dangerous <sighs> oh, one thing about freshwater drum they are hard to handle but look at that thing right there god here we go that's a good fish let's get this back in the water i gotta be real careful since it's like really 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 wet look at that that's what I'm talking about. All right. I got splashed, but it's all right. Got to get my hands back warm. Oh, man. So I guess, like I did not just say this. I explained this to y'all before. A lot of times when you see one species run somewhere, you can possibly see multiple species. Maybe they want to get out of the same situation or get into the same situation. That's why you see me catch that channel catfish. And right when I threw back out in that same area, I caught a freshwater drum. And I believe we have a fish on this one. So let's check this out real quick. Yes, we do. We have something on here. Oh, what is this? This has to be a channel catfish for sure. 
What is this? Is it a bullhead? Look like a little bullhead coming up here. I think we got us a little bullhead. Or a channel. Is this a bullhead? It looks like it is a bullhead. Wow. Exactly what I explained to y'all. Y'all get, see? Now we got this bullhead. So with that being said, I have to make sure I stick it closer to that other side because I guess there might be a cove up in there or maybe it's just a, a good spot to get away from all the birds that's in here trying to congregate and take all the food out the water. I don't know, but right now I'm, it's proven exactly what I've been explaining. So here we have a whole nother species right here. Like I said, I caught a channel catfish, a, what, a what's the name? Man, he swallowed my hook and boy, when you're dealing with when you're dealing with bullhead swallowing hooks being swallowed is just not a good thing. I should have set that hook much faster. I can get it back once I, you know, take take it home. But see, there we have channel cat, a bullhead. See, they all in the back. So I have to stick it with this area, like I said. So this is why every time I, you know, get on these uh, videos and I start explaining something, you can see what I mean by that. I just proved my point where sometimes when you catch one species at you might catch multiple species because once again they're either trying to get into the same situation or get out of the same situation you know so like i said here you see all these birds you see the ducks they all in the water i mean there's lots of baiting here but maybe they just don't want to be near all that craziness so with me being right here it kind of pushes the birds back a little bit believe it or not because you can see birds around but they mostly that away because they see that they see uh they see a human presence so i'm just gonna keep it in this area or you know or we ain't gonna be fishing at all just to keep the fun going so y'all stay tuned got another fish and i believe it's a bullhead i believe it's a bullhead i think i found where the bullheads be sitting off at yes i know where the bull is sitting at this got it look at this oh yes i think i found where the bull head sit at out here <laughs> there we go two in a row oh that's hey that's crunch time by the way bull head in my opinion are way better eating than uh channel catfish i'll take a bull head for dinner way faster than the channel catfish got another one he's smaller than the other one but i found him i have to stick it where i was sticking it at so this rod with the night crawler has been pretty much going all the way basically damn near to the other side so i have to keep casting it out that way because that's where they congregated at oh ooh, 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 that's a bit too far jesus oh god yep that's where i gotta stick it at but this is just me adjusting i gotta figure this all out because at first i was not catching a single fish i had caught the freshwater drum and then i had caught a channel cap but it took me forever to catch those fish you know what i'm saying i've been out here since what what 7 45 in the morning and here it is it's 10 10 like i didn't start catching the fish until like 9 45 so that just lets you know two hours and pretty much nothing so y'all stay tuned see what else we get uh oh yep this is definitely not a bullhead. No. No. Oh, this is something. Boy, he fighting me hard. I can't tell where he at. Oh, he up under me. He up under that other line. Come on. This must be another freshwater drone. Or another channel cat, maybe. Feel like a freshwater drone. Oh, man, dude. What in the world? This thing is huge. What is this? Yeah, this, okay, I thought that was a, I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was a, that's a real healthy channel cat right there. Jesus, gotta get the net for this one for sure. I thought that was a uh, bull head for a second, y'all. About to say, but that thing was fighting me just too hard. Oh, there we go, come on. Got it. Woo. Uh. Yes. Nice, decent channel catfish right here for sure, man. Woo! This channel cat got some, got some gold. Let's see. Let's get this out of his mouth.
There you go. Come on. Ah, got it out of his mouth. Didn't bend my hook or nothing. Got to keep watching my line. Think. Okay, everything is still good. Yeah, this is a real decent channel cat right here. Definitely. Yeah, this is definitely about five pounds for sure. Look at that. Nice and long. A little bit on the slimmer side. If he had some, like, really, he really had some weight on him and some food, he would definitely, well, basically, if he had some food on him, he would be about a good nine pound channel cat it's a nice color there we have it Ooh. Just wipe my hands from all this slime see now let me tell you how rough it is now it's really hard to catch a fish right now due to the fact that i don't have much space to work with because of all this water i don't have no boots on i have tennis shoes so getting my feet wet out here is just not a good idea because it is 40 degrees but that water is warmer but that wind makes everything feel that much worse so i don't want to put myself in that predicament i believe that's a bull head there we go there we go and it's a bullhead. Whoa, this is actually huge, yo. Look at this thing. That's a big old bullhead. Look at that thing. With the night crawler right at the bottom. Got him. Got him. I can hear all the way towards that back is where his whole school of uh, bullhead is at. There you go. And they all nice size too, man. Not really dealing with too many small, smaller ones for sure. Look at this, that's a yellow one. Yellow bullhead. Last one, last couple ones were brown bullheads. You can obviously see the yellow and then the brown one right here. But yeah, see that? Alright, let's see what else we can get. They just tore my worm up real bad. I gotta get myself back out there in the, in the guts of it all because I know, know where they're shooting for. Alright, I think I got another bull head. Yes, I do. This is much more rewarding than Channel Cats, I promise you, y'all. Much more rewarding. This is much more rewarding than uh, Channel Cats. Feisty, boy, look at this one. The bull head right there. There you go. Same night, Carl. I don't even think I have to change this. It's no point. They all back there eating well. One thing about bullheads, they schooling fish. A lot of people don't know that.